Hello students, this is Dr. Visuno Raju from IARE. Today we are going to discuss some problems on frequency modulation. So basically in frequency modulation we have the problems on deviation, modulation index and the expression of the waveform like that too. Number of problems are coming from this module. Okay. So coming to the course outcome, this also covers the frequency modulation and uh, uh, what are the generation techniques and detection techniques of the frequency modulated waves. Okay. So this frequency modulation topic uh, will come to the module 2 and uh, module 2 is covered by CO2. So the course outcome 2 is uh, interpret the generation and detection techniques of frequency modulated waves used for audio signal transmission systems. Okay. So let us start the first problem. So frequency deviation and modulation indexing FM. So the first problem is in an FM system when the audio frequency is uh, 500 hertz and uh, AF voltage is 2.4 volts, the deviation is uh, 4.8 kilohertz. If the AF voltage is now increased to 7.2 volts, what is the new deviation? If the AF voltage is rising to 10 volts, while the AF is dropped to 200 hertz, what is the deviation and find the modulation index in each case. So in this problem, the given audio frequency as a binary hertz. So audio frequency is nothing but FM you can take and uh, voltage, AF voltage is 2.4 that is AM. Okay. So in this problem, the given the deviation is a 4.8 kilohertz for the first part. Okay. So here the problems, uh, sorry, in this problem we used uh, some formulas. So here shown the basic problem, basic formulas as delta F is equal to KF AM. So delta F is the frequency deviation, KF is the frequency sensitivity of the modulator and AM amplitude of the audio frequency signal. Okay, so this is the basic formula and another one is a beta, nothing but the modulation index. Okay, so here we are considering the modulation index. So delta F is the frequency deviation that is equal to KF into AM. So the given delta F, so delta F as a 4.8 kilohertz, delta F is the 4.8 kilo and AM is a 2.4. So from this we are going to find uh, uh, this KF which is equal to frequency deviation is a 4.8 divided by and uh, Voltage is a uh, 2.4, so kilohertz by volts, so it gives a uh, 2 kilohertz uh, per volt. Okay. Now here, when uh, AF voltage is uh, increased to 7.2 volts, so initially it is a uh, 2.4, but uh, increased to 7.2. So you consider as a second bit of this. Uh, problem. Okay. So next we're going to find uh, what is the new deviation. So here uh, in the first part the given frequency deviation, audio voltage and audio frequency. But here this audio voltage, AF voltage is increased to 7.2. What is the new deviation? So you're going to find uh, delta F. Okay. 
So here we are taking as a when Vm is equal to 7.2 volts. Why? Here initially it is 2.4 but increase it to 7.2. So here it is uh, the delta F frequency deviation is equal to 2 into 7.2. So here we find Kf. So Kf has a 2. So 2 into Vm. It's the same formula. So here the delta F is the frequency deviation is 14.4 kilohertz. When it is when the voltage audio voltage is from 2.4 volts to 7.2 it is increased. Now this delta F is the 14.4 kilohertz okay similarly again in this problem vm is increased to 10 volts okay so again you go to find here delta f is nothing but 2 into 10 20 kilohertz okay but uh, having uh, three cases initially the input voltage or audio frequency voltage is 2.4 then it is raised to 7.2 and again raised to 10 volts so for the three cases you go to find the modulation index so we know that uh, beta f is equal to delta f by fm so this is the formula beta f is equal to delta f by fm but uh, here we are having a uh, uh, three uh, frequency deviations of that. So for finding uh, three cases, we are taking as beta 1 is equal to delta F1 by Fm. So initially the frequency deviation is 4.8 divided by Fm is uh, 0 0.5. Then it is goes to 9.6. The beta 1 value. Again, you go to find the second case, beta 2 is equal to uh, delta F1 or delta F2. So, here delta F2 is 14.4. Uh, so, 14.4 14 point, 14 point divided by again the FM 0 0.5, then it is uh, 28.8. Now, the third case this beta 3 here also delta f1 is nothing but uh, 20 kilohertz so 20 divided by uh, that fm fm okay so here the af is dropped to 200 so in the last case uh, af audio frequency is dropped to 200 but initially it is 500 but uh, here in the third bit, AF is dropped. So here AF mm, frequency, audio frequency is dropped to 200 Hz, that is uh, nothing but 0 0.2. Okay. So here we get uh, 100. So this is the output of this uh, problem. Okay. Solution of this. Uh, So second one here the second problem is a 25 megahertz carrier is modulated by a 400 hertz audio sine wave if the carrier voltage is 4 volts and the maximum deviation is 10 kilohertz write the equation of this modulated wave for fm and pm so a and b bits if the modulating frequency is now changed to 2 kilohertz or else remaining constant write a new equation for fm and pm so first uh, uh, understand this problem what they given and what they ask so 25 megahertz carrier so the carrier is 25 megahertz and is modded by a 400 audio sine wave is nothing much you can consider as a fm it is message signal, message signal frequency. Okay. 
if the carrier voltage is 4 volts and the deviation is a delta F is a 10 kilohertz. So write the equation of this modulated wave for a FM and PM. So we know that uh, frequency modulation expression. So just you would write the frequency modulation expression. So he can, you can uh, express this frequency modulation as uh, V is equal to AC sine of omega CT plus beta of sine omega EMT. So this is the general expression for FM. But uh, in some books uh, it may be taken as uh, cosine. So there is uh, uh, no difference between sine and cosine only the phase value. So already we know that. So in some problems we may use uh, cosine here or sine. Okay. But generally this is in the form of uh, uh, in this way the FM. You can express the FM as uh, this expression V equal to AC sine of omega CT plus beta sine omega M T. So omega C is the angular frequency of the carrier where omega M is the angular frequency of the frequency modulation. So that's why he given omega C value is 2 pi F C where omega M is equal to 2 pi F M. Okay. So for solving this problem, we must know the expression. How to express F M and how to express P M. So both are same, but uh, a slight difference is that. So that's what we're going to discuss in this uh, problem. Okay. So here the modulation index. So the modulation index may be expressed as a beta or m, but generally it is taken as a beta. Okay. So what is our expression here? V is equal to AC sine of omega CT plus beta sine omega m of t. Omega m t. So we know the modulation index. Beta is equal to delta F by Fm. So in this problem, what they given delta F is a 10 kilo, 10 kilohertz, and Fm is taken as 400 hertz. So that's why in this problem, this is delta F and this is our Fm. So beta is equal to delta F by Fm. So delta F is a 10 kilo. So that's why here 10,000 divided by FM, 400 hertz. So here given 400. So what is my beta value? 25. Okay. So now the expression. Just we are placing its values in this expression. What is FM? V equal to AC sine of omega CT plus beta into sin omega mt. So what is omega c? That is the angular frequency. Okay. So what is the angular frequency here? They given once again 25 mega h. Fc is 25 mega h. You go to substitute is 25 mega h. And fm is 400 hertz. Okay. So that's why here omega c is equal to you can write omega c is equal to 2 pi fc. So 2 pi value is 3.14. You can take 3.4 radians. Fc. Fc is uh, here we are taking as uh, 25 mega. So 25 into 10 power 6. So this is uh, my angular frequency of the carrier. So you go to multiply all this you get this uh, 1.57 into 10 power 8 so omega c value here you are getting and again you know the beta value so beta value get uh, 25 so that also shown here 25 25 into sine of uh, this omega mt omega m so what is omega m? 
is nothing but 2 pi SM. So 2 into 3.14 into SM is nothing but 400 hertz. So you go to multiply this value is uh, 2513 radians per second. So this is uh, my omega m. So now I know that uh, AC. AC is the uh, carrier amplitude. So carrier amplitude is nothing but 4 volts. So 4 into sine of uh, 1.57. What is 1.57 10 power h? Is nothing but omega c. So omega c value is 1.57 into 10 power h. So omega c into t plus beta. So beta value is 25 into sine of omega m t. Omega m is 2 pi fm. So 2 pi into 400. I got 2513. So here you're going to substitute this 2513 into T. So this is my FM. And uh, second one is uh, PM. That is our phase modulation. So both are going to express the same FM and PM in the expression. So there is no difference. So V is equal to again for sign. Substituting all these values, we get the same one. Okay. But uh, in this uh, problem, the second part is there. Okay. What is the second part here? In the second part, the modulating frequency is changed to 2 kilohertz, whereas initially it is 400 hertz. But in the second part, it is increased to 2 kilohertz. So here the FM taken as 2 kilohertz in the next coming bit. Okay. So here you can take in as a, a same expression that is a V is equal to AC sine of omega CT plus beta into uh, sine omega MT. So here you can consider this beta value. Why beta E is nothing but delta F by FM. So delta F is a 10 kilo divided by FM. So FM is increased as 2 kilo. Initially it is 400 heads. 400 heads is increased to 2 kilo. So how many times you have to multiply this 400 into 5. So that's why here when the modulating frequency is multiplied by 5, the equation will show a 5 fold increase in the modulating frequency. So that's why here the beta value changes as 5. Okay. So that's why this is my beta. And uh, another one is the sine omega mt. So my FM frequency is uh, a change. So 2 kilohertz. My FM frequency is presently 2 kilohertz. So omega m, you again you use the omega m is equal to 2 pi fm. So 2 pi into 2 kilo. So here you got this uh, uh, 12565 radians you got. So this is omega mt okay so here uh, we change only the frequency of the modulating signal okay so the modulating frequency is increasing so that's why here the omega m value is increasing as a previous one previously you written some expression for fm okay now it is increased to 12565 but uh, here in PM, it remains constant. Okay. So the modulation index in FM is reduced fivefold. Here, frequency is multiplied by 5, whereas the modulation index is reduced by 5 times. Okay. So that is the change for FM and PM. So whereas PM, this uh, beta value as similar. But in FM taken as a five fold decrease. Okay, so this is the solution of this uh, problem. Okay, coming to the third problem. So the third problem, what is asking here? When the 
So we find the carrier and monitoring frequencies, the modulation index and the maximum deviation of the FM well, is represented by the modulation voltage equation V equal to 12 sine of 6 into 10 power 8 T plus 5 sine 1250 T. What will be this FM dissipate in 10 ohm resistor? So here we can see uh, the expression, the voltage expression of this FM wave. Okay, so FM is you can show like as a V voltage is equal to A. So A is AC voltage of the carrier into sine of omega CT angular frequency angular frequency of a carrier plus mf or beta what it may be modulation index into sine of omega m t okay so from this expression you go to find uh, carrier and modulating frequencies so here they ask find the carrier modulating frequencies the modulation index and the maximum deviation. So we are going to find four values: carrier, modulating frequency, modulation index beta, and delta f. Okay. Okay. So what is my omega c? Omega c is nothing much. Six into ten power eight. So omega c is you can say two pi f c. 6 into 10 power 8 okay so i equal fc 6 into 10 power 8 divided by 2 pi so solving this we get fc value is 95.5 to 10 power 6 so that's why 95.5 mega hertz okay whereas the second one there is nothing but fm fm so fm is uh, here shown as uh, 1250. So coming to the next page. So here you can solve this right here. Omega m is equal to 1250. So omega m is uh, 2 pi fm. FM uh, 2 pi FM is equal to 1 2 5 0 and FM is equal to 1 2 5 0 divided by this 2 pi. Okay, so you get uh, 199 hertz are approximately is equal to 200 hertz. Okay, so this is FCN FM and you go to find the uh, uh, beta value. That is the modulation index and the maximum deviation delta f. Okay. So for the second part, mf, mf or beta. So what is beta? Beta f is equal to delta f by fm. You can say. Okay. But delta f is equal to beta into fm. So here the given. Uh, delta f uh, beta value is uh, 5 so delta f is equal to is 5 into uh, fm fm value is 199 hertz as initially get so 5 into 199 hertz then you got uh, this 995 hertz so this is my maximum deviation or simply we call as a frequency deviation Okay, and uh, in this problem, the last part, the given uh, how much ohms uh, it is going to radiate, 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so we are going to calculate the power. Okay, you go to calculate the power and dissipating through a 10 ohm resistor. Okay, so the power here uh, represents as uh, V square RMS divided by R, but the given as uh, Vm maximum voltage is given 12 volts. So Vrms is equal to Vm by root 2. So the given Vm is uh, 12 volts divided by 
root 2, we got uh, 8.5. So here you're going to substitute this 8.5 whole square divided by 10 ohm resistance. So the resistance value is 10. 10 ohms. So you given 10. So 8.5 whole square is uh, 72 divided by 10. So finally 7.2 watts. So this is uh, the power. The power of the FM signal or FM wave is 7.2 watt. Okay. So fourth problem is on uh, Carson's rule and bandwidth of FM wave. So this uh, Carson's rule is very very important uh, role in uh, frequency modulation having some formula. So based on this formula, uh, we are going to solve this problem. Okay. So based on the Carson's rule, we are going to solve this problem. Okay. So first, uh, uh, this uh, problem in uh, North America, the maximum value of uh, frequency deviation is fixed at uh, 75 kilohertz for commercial FM broadcasting by radio. If you take the modulation frequency W is equal to 15 kilohertz, which is typically the maximum audio frequency of interest in FM transmission, find that the corresponding value of the deviation ratio and bandwidth. Okay. So very simple. So this is the deviation ratio formula. It is equal to D equal to 75 by 15. So we got this uh, deviation ratio is uh, 5. So which is in a equivalent to the beta value or you taken as a beta so here taken as deviation so here using Carson's rule replacing beta by t and replacing by w the approximate value of the transmission bandwidth of the fm wave is this one that is b is equal to 2 into 75 plus 15 so this is the bandwidth so 2 into 75 plus 15. So you got uh, here 90. So 2 into 90, you got 190 kilohertz. Okay. So in this problem, they ask just a deviation ratio, D value, and they ask the bandwidth. Okay. This one. So FM is replaced by, replace FM by W, then you go substitute this value. Okay. So 2 into 75 plus 15. So we got 180 kilohertz. This is the bandwidth. Here we are using the custom rule. So very simple problem. Okay. So coming to the fifth problem. A carrier of frequency 10 into 10 to the power of 6 hertz. So simply it is uh, 1 megahertz. And amplitude 3 volts is a frequency modulated by a sensor modulating signal. Frequency 500 hertz and uh, peak amplitude uh, 1 volt. The frequency deviation is 1 kilohertz. The level of the modulating waveform is changed to 5 volts peak and the modulating frequency is changed to 2 kilohertz. Or write the expression for the new modulating waveform. Okay. So before um, or solve this problem, we must. Uh, uh, know the expression of the FM. So already we are doing the same from the first problem onwards. So here also you go to write uh, the FM expression. Okay. So FM expression you can uh, as uh, S of T is equal to or what it may be V is equal to AC. So cos of uh, 2 pi FCT plus beta uh, sin 2 pi fmt so already mentioned so here we use a cos or sine term so both the cosine and sine terms are same but what's the difference here only the phase values okay so you can represent both of these terms no problem so in this problem i use a cosine term so no problem okay so now the given uh, what are the given data for this problem? AC, they given as uh, 3 volts. So here you given AC is 3 volts. 
FC is 10 pro 6, FM is uh, 500 heads, and AM is 1 volt, and delta F is 1 kilohertz. Okay, so first I go to write the given data here, and uh, FC is uh, sorry, heads and AC is 3 volts ok FM what is FM the given 500 heads so FM is uh, 500 heads and uh, AM is 1 volt and the given another one is uh, Delta F Delta F is uh, 1 kilo heads ok so once again you go to remember the problem formula for this uh, problem to solve beta is equal to delta f by fm so what is beta beta is the modulation index delta is the frequency deviation fm is the uh, frequency of the modulating signal okay okay and another one is uh, to find delta f that is uh, KF into A. So they given delta F 1 kilo and they given uh, AM amplitude. So here you go to find the this KF frequency sensitivity of the modulator is nothing but uh, delta F by delta F by AM. Okay. So what is delta F? Delta F is 1 kilohertz divided by AM is 1. Okay, so one volt. So here you can write as a uh, written as a uh, 10 power 3 heads by volt. 10 power 3 is by volt. So this is the first part. Okay, this is the first part. The second case AM is 5 volts and FM is uh, 2 kilohertz. FM is a uh, 2 kilohertz. So here we are using the same formula beta is equal to delta f by fm. So what is delta f again here? Delta f is uh, 5 kilo. So that is uh, 10 power 3 into 5 divided by fm is uh, 2000. So here the value is 2.5. So this is my beta value. Beta is the modulation index. And after uh, solving this beta value, now we go to substitute all the values in the expression of the FM. So you know that S of T uh V, whatever may be S of T is the modulus signal of the FM AC3. We are given AC3 cos of here omega ct so it is uh, 2 pi into 10 power 6 t plus beta is uh, 2.5 into sine of omega md okay so it is uh, 2 pi into 2 so here you can written as uh, 4 pi so 4 pi into 10 cube so this is the what they ask in the problem. So this is the FM wave expression by getting the new values. So here what you got beta value is 2.5 omega C omega M. Okay. So this is the fifth problem solution. Coming to the sixth one. A sensual modulating waveform of amplitude 5 volts and a frequency of 2 kilohertz is applied to FM generator which has a frequency sensitivity of 40 hertz by volt. Calculate the frequency deviation, modulation index and bandwidth. Okay, so this is a given problem. For the given problem, what is the data? First you go to write. 
So in this solution, the given data is amplitude of the modality signal. So nothing but AM. So what is AM? 5 volts. So here the given 5 volts. Next to frequency of the modality signal. So what is the frequency? So nothing but it is uh, 2 kilohertz. So 2 kilohertz direction. And another, the given frequency is sensitivity, the given Kf. Okay, so Kf is equal to delta F by Am. So, what you have to go to find uh, not necessary. Why the given directly? But generally, they are not given Kf, you go to for that formula delta F by Am, but uh, not required here, the given directly. So, this is the given data. By using this data, you are going to find the deviation delta f modulus index beta and bandwidth okay so you know the formula delta f is equal to kf into am the given kf the given am so you got the frequency deviation okay so frequency sensitivity kf is given as a 40 into AM is 5, so 200 heads. So this is my frequency deviation. Okay, this is my frequency deviation 200 heads. Next, beta is equal to delta F by FM. So this formula also you know, it's a basic formula. Okay, so from this, you go to find the modulation index. So, delta F is uh, 200 hertz divided by FM. So, what is the given FM? FM is 2 kilo. 2 into 10 Q. Okay. So, nothing but uh, 200 divided by 2000. So, 1 by 10, you can write uh, 0 0.1. Okay. So, this is my beta. And here, uh, the another a bit they ask for bandwidth in this problem they ask uh, to find uh, three values one is delta f frequency deviation and another one is uh, beta modulation index and the last one is the bandwidth so before going to find the bandwidth the first uh, am is uh, either narrow band fm or wide band fm so how do you know so here by using this beta value beta value is very much less than one why beta value is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 is less than 1. Okay. So here you can conclude that it is a NB FM, narrow band FM. So what are the formula for narrow band FM? So for bandwidth, for bandwidth in narrow band FM, it is taken as 2 FM. 2 FM. So what is a 2 into FM? 2 kilo. So 2 kilo. Simply it is. 4 kilohertz. So, this is the bandwidth of a, a FM signal. Okay. So, coming to the seventh one, an FM wave is given by S of T is equal to 20 cos, 20 cos of 8 pi into 10 power 6 T plus 9 sine of 2 pi 10 cube t calculate the frequency deviation bandwidth and power of fm wave so this is a general expression for uh, fm signal so comparing with the general one the given equation okay so here you can directly uh, find this ac so ac is 20 volts be given directly by comparing this and another is uh, omega ct omega ct is nothing but 2 pi fct so directly here uh, comparing 2 pi fc is equal to 8 pi into 10 power 6 8 pi into 10 power 6 so this pi pi and uh, 4 times so fc is 4 mega FC is 4 megahertz. Similarly, uh, 2 pi FM is equal to 
2 pi into 10 q so this 2 pi 2 pi so fm is 1 kilo hertz okay and comparing with beta so beta value is directly 9 so here by using the given expression we are going to comparing with the reference one or comparing with the standard uh, fm expression you got this uh, beta ac fc and fm now we are going to calculate the frequency deviation so delta f is equal to beta fm why beta is equal to delta f by fm so here we know that uh, we know that uh, two values two parameter values beta value is 9 and fm is 1 kilo so 9 kilo hertz is the delta f so this is the frequency deviation so this is the frequency deviation okay next one bandwidth so here beta value is uh, not less than 1 why beta value is 9 so we can consider as a uh, wide band fm so bandwidth taken as a uh, 2 into beta plus 1 into fm so this is a formula for finding the bandwidth when beta is very much less than 1 we can take it as a uh, 2 fm directly but here beta value having 9 so that's why we are considering uh, the bandwidth as uh, using this formula okay so 2 into 9 plus 1 10 fm 1 kilo okay so 10 into 2 20 kilo hertz so the bandwidth is here 20 kilo hertz so bandwidth is 20 kilo and uh, power of fm so third bit is uh, power so simply you can know that power value p equal to ac square by 2r so we are not given any resistance value so taken as unity so what is ac 20 so 20 into 20 so 20 square simply by 2 so 400 by 2 you can take it as 200 watts so the power of the fm is 200 watts okay So this is the solution for this uh, given problem. So coming to the eighth problem. A FM signal is generated through a narrowband FM. The narrowband FM is obtained in a combination of uh, DSBSC AM and 90 degrees phase shift. The depth of modulation is the combined signal corresponds to zero and FM is 400 Hz. It is required to obtain a FM signal with 50 kilo hertz deviation suggest a suitable frequency multiply chain stating the frequency deviation of each step in the chain. So in this problem here uh, frequency multiplier is used. So how many frequency multipliers are required and how, what are the uh, uh, values we are going to draw this chart and find the values. Okay. So here we go for solution. So first we'll write the given data. Beta value is equal to 0 0.1. FM is uh, 400 hertz. 400 hertz. So from this uh, delta F is equal to beta into fm so beta value is 0 0.1 into 400 so simply 40 hertz so this is the deviation okay but uh, the required deviation is uh, 50 so here the required deviation is suggested as 50 kilohertz but what you got 40 kilohertz okay so uh, required
సో ఎక్కువ ఎయిర్ డివియేషన్ సో రిక్వైర్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ డివియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్టీ కిలో బట్ త్రీ కిలో బ్యాచ్ ఓన్లీ ఫార్టీ కిలో సో హియర్ ద మల్టిప్లికేషన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు రిక్వైర్ ఫార్ మల్టిప్లికేషన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ కిలో డివైడెడ్ బై దిస్ ఫార్టీ so finally it was 1250 so what are the factors for 1250 5 into 5 into 5 into 2 so here we find what is the 25 625 625 into 10 okay so we get 1250 so they ask the frequency multiplier so you go to draw the frequency multiplier and the stages so here you take it as a uh, five stages so uh, this 5 uh, into 5 again 5 into 5 into 2 so five stages so first stage you are going to draw like this this one second third one fourth and the last one okay so here first initially two so what is my delta f is a uh, 40 kilo so when you multiply this 40 into 2 what you got 80 kilo so this is 80 kilohertz and now we go to multiply it five times okay so 40 hertz not to 40 kilo so this is a 40 hertz and this is a 80 hertz why 40 into 2 80 hertz so 80 into 5 so you got 400 heads again this 400 heads is multiplied with 5 so what you got 2k so this is uh, 2 kilo heads so this 2 kilo heads again multiplied with 5 the factor so you got 10 kilo heads okay 10 kilo heads and here the last stage so here also five times so 10 into 5 50 kilo heads so this is a problem so initially they given beta value fm so from this you go to find the frequency deviation so here got 40 heads only but uh, the required deviation is 50 kilo so we are going to using a multiplication factor so 50 kilo divided by this 40 hertz so 1250 so this 1250 go to increase okay so 1250 go to increase so when you multiply this 40 and 1250 got 50 kilo hertz simply so these are the stages how to increase so delta f the first stage get 80 hertz so second stage 400 hertz and third stage 2 kilohertz and fourth stage 10 kilohertz and the last stage got 50 kilohertz so this is this is the way to increase this deviation up to the required one okay coming to the and the problem ninth one so a carrier is a frequency modulated by a sinusoidal modulated signal of frequency 2 kilohertz resulting in frequency deviation of 5 kilo what is the bandwidth occupied by the modulated waveform the amplitude of the modulating sinusoid is increased by a factor of 3 and its frequency lowered by 
one kilohertz. What is the new bandwidth? Okay, so this is another type of the problem. So let us write the given data. Okay, so first uh, they given FM. So FM is uh, two kilohertz deviation frequency deviation five kilohertz. Okay. So, what is the bandwidth? So, the first bit is a uh, bandwidth. So, what is the bandwidth? So, the bandwidth formula is a uh, 2 into delta F plus Fm. So, 2 into delta F, 5 kilo plus this 2 kilo. So, the bandwidth is 14 kilo hertz. So, this is the first part of this problem. Okay, the second part, the amplitude of the modulating sinusoid is increased by a factor of three, by a factor of three, and the frequency is lowered by one kilo. What is the new bandwidth? Okay, so here, when the amplitude of the modulating signal is made three times, the deviation increase three times. Okay, so delta F is equal to three into 5 k okay. so there is a 15 kilohertz okay so 15 kilohertz further the fm is reduced to 1 kilohertz now what is the new bandwidth okay so the bandwidth is uh, 2 into delta f Delta F is 15 plus FM, 1. Okay. So, 2 into 16. So, 32 kilohertz. So, that is the new bandwidth. Initially, we got uh, 14 kilohertz. The bandwidth is now, it is increased to 32 kilohertz. Okay. So, this is the solution for the ninth one. So coming to the tenth one, the carrier frequency used for generation of uh, MBFM narrow band FM is uh, 100 kilohertz, and the maximum phase deviation is restricted to 0 0.1 to avoid distortion. If the baseband frequency spans from 100 hertz to 15 kilohertz, select the multiplier and the frequency of the oscillator used at the mixer stage in order to provide an output FM signal with a carrier frequency of 108 megahertz and a frequency deviation of 75 kilohertz. Okay, so this is a uh, a little bit uh, long problem. So here we go to draw the mixer stage. Okay. Then after we go to solve this uh, problem. Okay. So first uh, draw the mixer stage. So here I use the C voltage control oscillator, and this is a frequency multiplier. Frequency multiplier and this one is mixer. So for the mixer, you must require a local oscillator. So fix it a low local oscillator and then frequency multiplier. And then the band pass filter. Okay. And this is nothing but our FM. So this is the MOF T. So this is a F1 stage. And this is F2. And this is N1. And this is Yandu. Okay. 
So this is the mixer stays. So the maximum and minimum values of beta at the output can be expressed as beta max is equal to delta f, delta f by fm. Generally, the formula is delta f by fm. So delta f is taken as 75 kilohertz divided by fm. Why fm is changing? Okay. So fm1, so that is uh, 100 hertz is equal to 750. Okay. 750 is And uh, beta minimum, again, 75 kilohertz divided by 15 kilohertz, it is just 5. Just 5. Okay. So, here, what is the uh, prescribed frequency deviation is 75 kilohertz. So the maximum value of modulation index must satisfy the following condition. So what is the condition? Beta max is equal to N1 into N2 into beta 1. Okay. So this is the condition for the prescribed frequency deviation of 75 kilohertz. So what is the maximum beta value 750 is equal to N1 N1 into N2 into beta 1. So here the beta 1 is initially to avoid the given. Okay. So 0 0.1. So N1 N2 is 75 hundreds. So totally 7500. Okay, so this is uh, required. And uh, next, uh, considering the mixer stage. So, for considering the mixer stage, we may write Fc by N2 is equal to Nf1 minus F2. Why? So, initially, you see in the block diagram. So, for the each stage, the frequency is going to increasing. And finally, pass through a band pass filter. Okay. So, for this, so FC is 108 10 power 6 divided by N2 is equal to N1. So, this is N1 F1. N1 into F1 is 100 kilo minus F2. Okay. So you go to multiply this n2 to the other side. So 108 into 10 power 6 into n1 n2 into 10, 100 kilo minus n2 f2 n2 f2. So what is the n1 n2 value that is given as a 7500 in the last slide? Okay, into 100 kilo minus n2 f2 108 into 10 power 6 okay so here uh, this can be written as uh, 70 uh, 750 into 10 power 6 okay 750 mega minus n2 f2 okay so this is 108 into 10 power 6. Now N2 F2 is equal to 750 mega minus 108 mega. So we got 642 mega. So this is N2 F2 value. So here we are going to or uh, choosing N2 value as uh, 100. And you got uh, F2 value. So, what is N2 here? You can see N2 is the frequency multiplier. So, how much the frequency is going to multiply? Okay. So, that's why here uh, I'm choosing uh, N2 value is 100. So, just here choosing N2 is 100, then F2 is equal to 
6.42 into 10 power 6. So 6.42 6.42 megahertz simply. Okay. So from that you got n1 is equal to 75. Why? n1 n2 is equal to 7500. So from this we got n1 is equal to 75. So here this n1 is 75 and n2 is 100 times. Okay. So this is the solution for the given problem. Okay. So reference here some problems are taken from Chakrabarti and Lagmus by Chakrabarti and uh, some problems taken from summer hacking, some others. Okay. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.